everybody, it's Sully again. And today, we're going over Furuno. Bet you guys thought I forgot about them because we've been covering all the other major brands out there. But we have the first TZT312. Finally got it just in this week. So we figured we'd go ahead, we'd hook it up, see what it is. But before we hook it up and before we go into all the details, kind of want to compare it to the TZT212 uh, that we had here that was in this cutout, but kind of want to show you some of the differences and see how things work. And if you have a TZT2 and you're thinking about going to a 3, some of the things you're going to have to take into consideration. So, like I said, first thing you're going to notice, we have to cut out here these. If we put these two and we stack them up side by side, you're going to notice the TZT3 is actually a little bit deeper. So we want to make sure we've got more depth in our dash and we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, but your hookup's still going to be on the same. You still got a nice long cable lead on here. You still have a separate power cable. You can reuse your same power cable. Your NEMA 2000, all those things are still going to plug into the same spot. So you've got that. So there's chart card on the back on the 12 as well. You can still use your MCU4 remote. You can use all that. But the biggest thing you're going to gain with the TZT3 is true one kilowatt chirp uh, transducer capability, sounder capability. So that's a big step up right here. And with a booster module, you can do two and three K uh, sounder modules as well. And that just boosts the power out of this going into a deucer and uh, really gives you some better picture out there. So that's what we've got going on here. We've got a depth issue that's changed up a little bit. Was told that this should fit the same cutout. We're going to find out here in a second. Looking at it, I don't think we're going to have it fit the same cutout. So let's check it out. Let's see if it's going to fit into here, and we'll go from there. Now, another nice feature before we do put it in on the TZT12 is we've gone back to buttons and knobs on the side here uh, to use this, which is nice in your smaller center consoles and runabouts to be able to have the button functionality, whether you're wearing gloves, your fingers are wet, or you're bouncing around out there trying to hit things on the uh, chart and try to be, make functions work. So that's a really nice additional feature that's built in on this one. So, let's see if it's going to fit. Let's feed this into there. And just a bit off. As you can see, we're not going in. You are going to be off by the width of basically this right here. So, you're going to have to widen the hole. So we're going to have to do that in our showroom display. I'm not going to do that right now. But what I am going to do so I'm going to go ahead and power this up, we're going to hook this up, and we are going to see some of the features that this thing's bringing, some of the speed and the processor power that this is going to bring to the table for us. So I'm going to go ahead, I've got my keys here, and what I can do is take our power cable here, and we're going to go ahead and crimp on some terminals under the end of it here. Now something that's kind of odd on this one, and I'm not really sure what Ferrino was thinking, they've got a blue ground cable. Uh, for the life of me, I can't figure out why we're doing that, but just so everybody out there is aware, you're doing this. Blue, that's for the ground. Red's hot. It's kind of self-explanatory with the fuse, but don't be alarmed. You see blue? Blue is negative. Now, well, they've come already pre-stripped and everything ready for us to go. And if you've watched any of our other previous episodes, you know that I have my personal preferences of how to do this, how to make all this work. I just go on here, make sure that's on there nice and snug. Break out my handy dandy favorite ratchet and crimping tool. And we're going to go ahead, give a nice little crimp on there, give it a good tug test, make sure it's good. Uh, I'm not going to worry about heat shrinking it right now, it's just going on our showroom display. I'm not overly concerned about water and moisture. Same thing goes here onto our blue negative. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there, give this a nice little ratchet down. I'm just going to take a little bit, push that in. Have a nice little pull test, and we know we're good. So, what I'm going to do is feed this back here where it needs to go, and we're going to power up. So, when I come back, this is going to be up and running, and we're going to see what kind of capabilities we can do with this. All right, so this is the initial startup of the Navnet TZT312 with the buttons on the side. All right, so because this is our first time starting up, we get this nice, beautiful screen. It's really showcasing what this display can do just with the startup here. Now, obviously, we can do our demo mode. It'll do a tutorial mode, or we can just go into Let's Navigate. 
uh, us. Obviously, we're going to start in a demo mode because we're in the showroom. We don't really have anything hooked up. So we come in here. We choose our start mode. We say OK. Now, look at that. It comes right into a nice, beautiful screen we've got right here. And what we can do on any of these screens, since we're split into four ways, if we want to go to our chart screen, we just double press with our fingers, and it brings up right to that full page. We can go back to home, right out of that. And then right from here, we have our functionality as normal on the Furunos. We have, again, video. This is really kind of showcasing what this processor can do. We've got a really nice picture. We've always got our edge swiping here. We can set this as a preset if we want, because now what we can do with these is now when we're in any mode, think of it as like a radio preset screen. So now we can go back to our home screen and let's just say we wanna make our regular fish finder screen come up here. We drop that down. We can make that our fish finder screen. So we get out of there, we come out. Let's say we want serious weather because we wanna know what's going on out there in the serious weather. So we drop that one down and we put that as number four. And we get out of there, we go to home. So now, let's just say we are in our DFF 3D mode here, and we are loading our sonar up. And we're in that screen, you can see we're doing our mapping here, and that's uh, a lot of horsepower right here going on. We just do a quick drop down. Now you see we can go to our presets right here, we can go to our regular fish finder, just like that. We can drop down again, we go right to our video screen, and that's gonna happen just like that. So. Really nice setup, really slick, really easy. If we want to add a screen, we come out and we go over to this white area right here. We press on that and we choose what we want. In this case, let's do a three and let's do charts. We drag that over to there. Let's go our real vision or real scan down to the bottom there. And let's go engine monitoring right there. And now we're done. We hit our green check mark and that's it. It was just that simple to make a page. Very simple, very easy to use. As you see here, we've got uh, a nice live picture of what's going on as fish are swimming through our column. We have our Yamaha screen that is brought down to a smaller scale. We don't have to take the whole screen up with our Yamaha. And we still have our charts here. And again, if we wanna go full screen, it's as simple as two fingers, brings it right up. Two fingers, brings it right back. It's very nice, easy finger gesture control. We've got our you know, two finger touch here. We can go pinch in, out, just like you would normally expect it to. We also have our soft keys over here, which make it really nice to back in, back out, so. All right, so that is just a quick overview of the TZT3 from Furuno. Uh, as the season progresses here, we're gonna be doing a couple of installs with this. We're gonna have some on the water time with it. We're gonna definitely be gonna give you more footage, more coverage of what this built-in sounder and all their fish finder technology can do and what all of their new radar technology can do and uh, just everything that Furuno's bringing to the table here for the MFD game for 2020. Um, as I said, TZT12 has buttons on the side, 1619 no buttons glass screen, but you can put an MCU full remote on there, highly recommend it. So that's it for today. You want to stay up to date with the latest marine tech trends? Give us a follow on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook at Navtronics. Until next time, wash your hands, practice social distancing, be safe out there. Everybody working on the front line, thank you. And uh, until next time, you know me, I'm going to jam out. <laughs>